Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Jetty. So, happy 4th of July to you guys all. Um, I really wish America a happy birthday. It's great, the fact that we have another 4th of July. It's probably the most scariest 4th of July, considering the fact that we have so many things going on. Starting with the coronavirus, leading down to the Black Lives Matter protests, and, of course, the whole election. So, with all that being said, guys, today... I thought it'd be kind of cool to just give you guys an update, you know, with 4th of July, what both candidates are saying, what Donald Trump is saying, what Joe Biden is saying, and also what's kind of going on with the Black Lives Matter protesters, what are they seeing, and how does it all affect coronavirus, kind of just going to tie everything up, and we're going to make one just solely for the 4th of July, so we can kind of make it look a little bit more <laughs> like a well-rounded video, instead of just focusing on a party, or a movement, or a virus. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine it all. So let's go. All right. So basically what ends up happening is that um, we can you can use Twitter and Instagram as pretty much like basic things where we can see what the parties are posting. So, of course, we have um, Joe Biden, who hasn't really said anything yet, uh, anything major on his social media platforms. It's been a lot of like chitter chatter here or there. So basically what he's saying is, of course, if he wins the election, he will basically turn on um, all green card processes. So pretty much all green cards will be processed. Visas will be extended. And he's basically just kind of completely open all borders. And that's basically what he's saying will be his gift for 4th of July. So that's basically what he said a couple weeks ago. And of course, President Trump and all of the social media platforms has posted a lot about the 4th of July. He's very happy about it. Very patriotic, of course. So, of course, we have his side. And basically, the protesters, of course, since they fit into the uh, BLM side, we'll talk about them first. So, basically, we have the BLM protesters who are pretty much Democratic. So, their side can be combined a little bit. So, I'm going to talk about them first. So, both of those, the Democrats and the BLM protesters, what they basically believe is that um, we should just not celebrate 4th of July because technically we're supposed to be blacked out for today and of course as you probably already tell i don't agree with that i think america is a great country and we should really just celebrate it and if you don't want to celebrate it that's perfectly fine that's your choice but saying that we need to shut down everything and no one can celebrate it that's a bit too far so of course if they don't want to celebrate it that's cool they can protest but i don't agree with them trying to stop other people from celebrating so if you guys want to celebrate go ahead if you don't want to celebrate that's cool too so yeah that's basically where the democratic says democrats and the blm protesters stand of course they don't agree with this because uh, they want to make um they basically want to have like a black fourth of july to really move their pro movement and of course you know we can't really we can't really argue with them we can't really fight them we gotta just let them do what they want so let's go to the other side, of course, the Republican side. They believe that we should really spread the history, like what we do every 4th of July, where we should we just talk about 4th of July, the flag, what exactly happened, and they just kind of want to spread that. So we're at two different sides in our country today. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not something that we want. In our um, in, in every national anthem and pledge that we say, we say indivisible under God, um, we are divided <laughs> in this 4th of July. So hopefully that gets fixed because without that America wouldn't be America. So let's see what happens guys, you know, just stay optimistic and it'll all be good. Make sure you guys stay safe, wear your masks. If you're going to protest, follow the guidelines. If you're going to celebrate 4th of July, make sure you know what your firecracker laws are and follow them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.